I tag fool you. It's actually just fifty dollars. I have it facing the wrong way, but it's all right. So this year, from Spirit Halloween, my cousin got me the brown jumping spider. I don't like the black one. That's why I got the brown one, because the black one looks more, let's just say, fake. And also the brown one looks more like a tarantula. So this is kind of be, gonna be a setup on how to do this in this bag. I don't have an adapter, but I'll show you. Uh, I won't show you it, but this is what I got. I got a step here. Got a step here pad. And I do tax receipt. Receipt. I was gonna think of getting jack straw, but eh, I wanted to start off simple. Is that everything in the back? Yep. Also, just like I always do every year, I do this. I donate to Spirit of Children. Help them out, Spirit. You're not... Spirit also, Spirit Halloween is not sponsoring this video. But I recommend donating to Spirit of Children. If you donate at least $2, then you'll get a free one of these. They have different colors. I like the black one because it's more Halloween fitting. Or you can also follow them on Instagram. So I'll show you. I just have to flip it around. Right here. On Instagram, you can tweet there at hashtag spirit of children. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me look at the camera. At hashtag spirit of children. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to turn on the lights a different way. <sighs> yeah, actually, you'll, I'll tell you what this is all about someday. But yeah, it's kind of serious a bit. There we go. I still haven't gotten used to this place. That's from my first communion. <laughs> when I did my first communion, we made like this. Well, we didn't make it, but like we had this person make it look like a ghost or something. I'm not sure. It was just their idea. Well, my mom's actually. Okay, let's go back to the jumping spider. So if you donate to Spirit of Children, you will, if you donate at least $2, you will get to get this hashtag uh, spirit of children on the inside. It says spirit of children has little stars around it. Well, now what you guys have been coming to, the setup. Okay, just to mention, step pad sold separately. Six volt, two MPC adapter sold separately. Requires four double AA batteries sold separately as well. Or battery adapter compatible sold separately. Okay, let's open this up. I am using batteries. You can also buy these at your local Sabrell Halloween. These are just for three dollars and ninety-nine cents. A pretty good cost. Oh come on, this stuff is hard. Also, I haven't been recording that much, and actually, me and Kevin had a sleepover, but I wasn't able to record that. So sorry. Ooh, I had my my Eng English lesson. I had my um like my school different lessons for I went up to this thing next to my school over here. It's like I signed in, it's where you learn new languages. It's not at my school, it's at like this other place. And yeah, I was busy over there learning other another language. Ooh. That was supposed to happen. I'm just kidding. Ooh, it's taped on. This is the same setup as last year. Like last year, I bought it, but it didn't work. And I learned that for some. I have to catch it. I learned that for some reason it only works with the step pad, at least for me. And we're gonna have to cut this cardboard. Or I can just pull it out like that, like that, right? That's good. Hold on, this. I'll show you how. I'll show you the setup once I get it out of the box. And just a little snip, and we're good. Okay, let's get this out of the box. This is what your product of the jumping spider will come with. The two long side feet. Wait, back feet, I think these are? Yeah, two long back feet. Foot removal key. And actually, I just noticed this. You know how they always have Velcro and like put it here? For this year, I guess, at least. They have this tiny little slot that actually sticks in and... Uh, it's hard. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, they have two side feet. And the mechanism with body. So, let's get started. Before we set up, make sure you're setting up on a nice flat leveled surface to avoid any damage. Let me get the feet. Okay. 
For easier setup, for, do this first. I'll show you. It's hard because this thing always comes down. First, do you see these two springs? Connect, connect these two springs to the bottom of these tiny little hooks. It's hard to do it, but I'll show you. I'll put in the back foot first, at least. It fell forward. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, this is a good chance, because now it's actually like this. Okay, grab your, your long legs. Oh, I'll put my removal keys right there. I'll put it right here again. And grab where it says B, and connect that to the module. It should flush in easily. Make sure it shows B, B to B. Connect that into the module. Make sure it is fully flushed to avoid damage. It's not right now, just so you guys know. It's hard to do it one-handed. I'll do it like this. There we go. Okay. Connect the two side, connect the two side feet, which are these small ones, right here, C to C, and right here. Okay. Connect two side feet right here, matching C to C. It's always hard to connect. There we go. Do the same. Do the same for the other side. Now grab your foot, a, labeled A instead of B, and connect it to the slot where it says A on the module. It's <laughs> Make sure it is flushed with the module. Make sure all the foot are attached. Okay, next, probably the hardest part. I'll put my leg right here onto the module. So, I don't know, I'll just keep my knee up like that. There we go. Okay, connect the two wire strings, these to the tiny little hooks. To do this, you will push back, move them forward, lock them here until it locks into place. This will keep your spider up during assembly. Do the same for the other side. Matching it to the matching it to the same pin on on here. To do this, if you can't move it a little bit to this side as well while you're doing it like that, and then flip it around, click. Now your spider will have better stabilization. To to ensure this, pull it back. If it stays still or if its movement is really like if it's if when you let go. It moves like that, like really slow. It should move really fast. Okay, here, allow me to demonstrate when I let go. It's gonna have that. Also, I recommend this. Look, when I push it down, this thing jumps forward. I recommend putting a sandbag or just taping this onto the ground to make sure that it doesn't jump forward and fall forward like that. That happens a bunch at stores. Okay, next. You will have to plug in your A AC adapter, uh, six volt, two volt DC adapter, not included, to the little slot where it shows it right here. If using a foot pad, a foot pad right here, not included, I bought one, so yeah. If you're using a foot pad, not included, mark it to the tiny little jack, mark foot pad. Make sure it is fully pushed. Yep, it's good. But don't turn your don't turn your jumping spider on yet and just for stability at least what i did i checked on this touch it make sure it goes down make sure it's not like just a little bit like a rock because that happened earlier sometimes like it gets shook around and yeah just mixes up a bit but there we go so there okay so next step if you're using batteries not included you will also need four double a batteries if using batteries screw unscrew this Take this out, take out the demo batteries, and put the new batteries in there. But do not turn it on just yet. I'll demonstrate. After unscrewing the base, load your batteries. 
but before doing this, locate the on switch. I still haven't found it. If you haven't found your on switch, I just realized it's under this. Listen right here, it says it right here. Attach two springs as shown before operating when removing this tag. This is where you'll find your mark where it says on and foot pad. If using foot pad, it's hold separately. Mark, put the jack onto foot pad and put the foot pad in front of jumping spider. If not using the foot pad, turn it onto on and so we can use sensor mode. Turn it to the middle on where it says off when not in use. I recommend covering this back up. But don't turn it on because once you put your batteries in, this thing is going to lower. Okay, let's take this out. Oh, it's hard. I'll just uh, pop it out. Oh, come on. Oh, I'll just take the spring out. <laughs> there. Is that good? Oh, it's like. Oh, there we go. Oh, the statue doesn't come with demo batteries. It's dusty though. Ooh. And it's really dusty. Look. Hopefully, at least it works. So, locate the sack. This tiny little sack should be moved upwards, I think. Should it? I think it's supposed to be moved upwards. Up to there, maybe. We know it's not. Okay. What is what's under the sack? I'm not sure if you have to do anything from there. But I at least check for this wire. This rainbow multicolored wire. Make sure it is not tangled around the jumping spider. This will prevent any mo movement. It's not. Well, it was a little bit, but I untangled it. You can already see the shadow word. Put in your double, your double A batteries, um, but don't turn it on just yet. I'm not going to put them on until the end. But yeah, put your double A batteries. You could also buy them from Spirit or your, your DC, your 6 volt 2 watt DC adapter in there. I recommend not putting it in just yet until your setup is complete. Move the legs of the spider out of the way. The middle part, at least for this year's, drag it outwards. You will see the face of the spider. This cardboard was put onto the IR sensor right here. Don't leave it on. Take it off, but at least put it in the bag in case you have, in case you have to take it back. Next. Drip and pull the arms if if needed. Pull the arms forward or bend them. These have a little metal wire look. I'm gonna break its bones. See, it has a tiny little metal wire. So I recommend bending it. It's quite hard to do it on. Okay. There we go. Like that. It's, this will some, this will release your clothing if if not working. Drape your clothing over the module to keep it hidden. Make sure that there isn't no construction tangled around the wires, because this will call and that's this will let movement go. Do you see these tiny little velcro clips on the strips? There are tiny little velcro on the ends of these. With these, put them, velcro them onto the very bottom like this. Next, grab the sides and drape it over to cover the, to try to fully cover the module. Do the same for the side feet, these two side feet, and a big front foot. Actually, I made a mistake. Sorry, guys, but this is not for that. You there's actually velcro strips under the leg right here. This will give it more lifelike. Grab the velcro strips and do it under this. Same thing with that. That. That and this. Drape the clothing to cover the module fully to give it more of a real life ish depiction. Did I get you? <laughs> Grab the spider's legs and make sure they are not tangled. I'll demonstrate this. This leg is moving backwards. He is tangled. This leg is from this leg over here. Make sure they are not tangled. 
to do this, each each leg has a wire. To do this, all you have to do, bend a wire. Bend a spider's leg like this. Bend the legs as to your desire to give it more of a life like an appearance. Your setup is complete. To take off a foot, use the foot removal key. And under each foot, there's a tiny little knob here. I'll show you. you flip it under. Grab the foot removal key. I'll show you. It's right here. Oh, I can't. But here. Put the foot removal key into there to remove your foot. Push it in and twist and pull out to pop the foot out. Load your batteries in like this. Try to get it so you can see it. Push the batteries down. Make sure none of them are standing up. Now, put the lid back on. Turn it onto on or foot pad if you have a foot pad. If using batteries, screw the knob back on to make sure it is nice and tight. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. Okay, your setup is now complete. Turn it onto the on switch. It, your spider, your jumping spider, will slowly move back. Like that. Once it's like that, it will be ready. If using foot pad, step on the foot pad to activate like this. I didn't turn it on yet, but yeah, just like that. If you're using, if you're just on, put it on the on switch. You can see this tiny little black thing right here. Move in front of the jumping spider or clap so it can jump. Using foot pad, place the foot pad at least a foot away from the spider like that not like this if put next to the jumping spider jumping spider might have might accidentally run into someone your setup is complete